While LabVIEW has Unicode support, it may be a bit flaky, at least for controls. If you have opened the LabVIEW.ini file inside the LabVIEW program directory and added the use Unicode line to the file, you should be able to then open a VI, right click on a control or indicator and choose Force Unicode Text. I haven't checked Force Unicode Text here because presenting Unicode Text in a control or indicator seems to work fine regardless as long as you have added the flag in the INI file. I have pasted random words in this control in Chinese and Russian and when I run this VI they are presented in a message box. After clicking OK I get other random words back in the Greek and the Thai. Entering words in a Unicode control is where LabVIEW operation can turn weird. Extra spaces appear and removing those spaces can break the character encoding. This is the function that is called. Here you can see the Unicode words in Greek and Thai that were returned. By adding them, Visual Studio automatically asks me to save the file in Unicode format. But if I choose Save As from the menu now, click the arrow on the Save button and choose Save with Encoding. You will see here that the file has the encoding UTF-8 with signature. LabVIEW supposedly uses UTF-16 little endian encoding, but any of the three choices here seem to work equally fine for strings sent to LabVIEW. In fact, this list does not have a UTF-16 option. There are different ways to copy the input string and add a Unicode null character. This is one way that I find convenient. The message variable gets a chunk of memory allocated on the stack, then the message string is copied, and then a null character is added by setting the last two bytes to zero. ClearMem is a LabVIEW function. LHSSTRLEN and LHSTRLBUFF are macros and are defined in xcode.h. I can't use the print function for Unicode strings, so I'm copying the values directly. For more information on Unicode strings in LabVIEW, follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.